Hey, Jaden. Why aren't you pitching in to help with any of these preparations? Huh? What's all this about now? What exactly do you think I'm not helping with? Obviously, I'm talking about the preparations for the wedding ceremony. I mean, it feels like so much time has passed and we haven't even picked a wedding chapel yet. Didn't we agree that we needed to decide on the venue before summer? Time is ticking and we haven't made any progress at all. If that's the case, then why don't you just go ahead and choose a place that you like? Why am I always the one who has to make decisions? We should be doing this together. It shouldn't be my sole responsibility. You need to help me figure out where we should have the ceremony. Come on, this is important. I mean, you're literally playing games on your phone while we're supposed to be checking out wedding chapels. Are you even interested in this wedding at all? I don't really have a strong preference when it comes to the location. Why don't you just take the lead and choose the best one? I have complete faith in your good judgment and taste. Oh, isn't that just convenient for you? Wow, how typical and irresponsible. You always leave everything for me to handle on my own. It's like you're not even invested in this wedding at all. Let's not forget, I was the one who initially suggested that we didn't need a wedding ceremony. And it was you who insisted. No, we're definitely having one. Well, it's because having a ceremony makes it look better, you know? Everyone has a ceremony when they tie the knot. It's just a norm and it feels like the right thing to do. All right. If you really want a wedding ceremony, then please help me with the planning and preparation. I'm already juggling so much with my job responsibilities, and I simply don't have the time to handle everything on my own. Lately, I've been sacrificing too much of my precious time off for all this wedding preparation, and it's becoming overwhelming. What? What are you even talking about? If I didn't know better, I'd say that you're trying to act busy to avoid doing this stuff. Haha, <laughs> nice try. It's not an act I'm doing. I really am that busy with work. Why do you refuse to acknowledge that? Alright, alright. Don't get so worked up. Too much stress will make you age prematurely and give you gray hair. You might even end up with more wrinkles too. Just trying to look out for you, you know? If that's true, dealing with you is going to age me several decades by tomorrow. You'll be marrying an old lady. You're really getting on my last nerve with your apathetic attitude. Okay, okay, I understand that. You're stressed out and feeling overwhelmed by everything. I promise that I'll pay closer attention and participate next time we go check out a wedding chapel. Don't just say it. Do it. Actions speak louder than words, you know. It's also really rude to the wedding chapel people that you don't pay attention to what they're telling us. They work hard to earn our business. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? It's not like I can tr control how boring those wedding chapel tours are. And hey, you've been a bit high strung and on edge lately. You've always known who I am and how my personality is. So why are you suddenly getting upset with me about things that shouldn't surprise you? Like I said, work is really, really busy and it's taking up all my mental and physical energy. I work overtime and come home so late. I have no time or energy left for all this. Wow, look at you. You've really transformed into a career woman. Atta girl. I don't need your praise. I need you to help me out by shouldering some of this burden. Will you please take some responsibility for a change? Please, please help me with these wedding preparations. Okay, okay. I promise that I'll put some thought into the best place for the ceremony. Hey, you gotta listen to this. What is it? I just went with a friend to a palm reader and guess what they told me? They told me don't get married yet, haha. <laughs> I mean, talk about amazing timing. The ceremony is so soon. Oh, is that so? What's with this indifferent attitude? What's that supposed to mean? It means that you made a promise to me, but you didn't keep it, did you? Whoa, wait a minute, a promise? What promise did I break? I ended up having to decide on the wedding chapel all by myself after all, didn't I? You promised that you'd go with me, but you only went to the very first chapel. Hey, at least I went with you to one. That's gotta count for something, right? Just going to the first one should have been enough, right? I told you very clearly that that was not enough. You were supposed to go to all of them with me. Yeah, well, you should know that I stopped going with you after you told me not to speak to the planner anymore. 
That's because you were jealous of the wedding planner, weren't you? What a drama queen you were. I mean, just how hung up on me are you anyway? So possessive. I didn't tell you to stop talking to the planner because I was jealous of her. What I did was warn you not to keep asking her all those weird and personal questions. What are your measurements? Do you have a boyfriend? All you asked her were stupid, offensive questions. What can I say? The wedding planner was exactly my type, haha. <laughs> she had a great rack and her face was beautiful too. Not to mention a really shapely behind. Oh, give me a break. You were seriously checking our wedding planner out while we were planning our ceremony? She did seem like a bit of a party girl though. It probably wouldn't take much effort to get her in the bed, haha. <laughs> Would you please get your mind out of the gutter and put some effort into this promise that you made? Plus, it's rude to that planner to talk like that. I really don't want to go to the next appointment with her. I mean, I can't tell if I notice her ample bosom. You can't blame me for having eyes. Okay, that's enough about the wedding planner's cleavage already. And by the way, when are you going to buy me a wedding ring? It's been a few months now since you said that you'd get one for me. Oh damn, that's right. I forgot all about it. Unfortunately, my money is pretty tight right now, so it's probably not going to happen this month. Yeah, your money is always tight. Some things just never change, do they? Yeah, well, I just bought a brand new motorcycle, so I don't have any cash right now. For now, why don't you just go ahead and buy them yourself? After all, we don't need it until the wedding ceremony, right? So, that's how it's going to be again. The usual avoidance of responsibility, huh? Fine, have it your way. Please just do me this favor, okay? It's in the best interest of having the wedding ceremony. Um, I also have something else that I need to talk to you about. Paying for the ceremony is also probably going to be pretty tough for me. Uh, yeah, weddings are expensive. No one can pay for a wedding easily. I just mean that I don't have as much savings as I thought I did. You told me that you have savings. In fact, you said that we should have a ceremony precisely because you have money saved up for one. Well, I did save some money saved up before. About $700. What? Are you high? You can't have a wedding ceremony for 700 bucks. Yeah, I really didn't think a wedding ceremony would cost so much money. But it's no big deal. I mean, you have money for this, right? So wait, let me get this straight. You not only leave all the ceremony preparations to me, but I have to pay for it all too? Are you seriously telling me that? You had no intention of being involved in either the planning or paying for it? You should have never said that you wanted a wedding ceremony in the first place. Hey, you were enthusiastic about the whole thing too after we got started with that. Yeah, but I didn't think I would be shouldering the entire burden, both financially and in time and effort. Good grief. Please help me out with something here. Anything. If you're not going to help me with this at all, I'll just call the whole thing off and be done with it. Jeez, don't get so upset about it. I'll pay you back for it at some point. For now, let's just get it paid and move forward, okay? Really? Do you really mean that? I feel like I can't believe what you say about anything anymore. Harper, I'm guessing that you probably arrived at the chapel by now, right? I'm not going to make it to the ceremony today after all. I just don't feel like doing this whole thing anymore. Hmm, is someone getting married today? What? Quit messing around. Are you still half asleep? Today is our wedding day. Huh? I'm not aware of any such plans today. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why on earth would I ever have a wedding ceremony with you? A complete and total waste of time and money that would be. I canceled the whole wedding ceremony a long time ago. Wait, what do you mean you canceled it? But you've been totally busy preparing for it all this time. How quickly you forget, I told you. 
I warned you that I would cancel the ceremony if you gave me no help with it. And you still refused to take responsibility for any of it, didn't you? So in the end, I finally decided that it's not worth the trouble and that enough is enough. Huh? What do you mean? You mean you actually canceled it because I didn't help with the planning? I sure did. Just like I told you that I would. I warned you. And you would have noticed that it was all canceled if you had participated even a little bit in the preparations. But you lost all interest in any of it early on, didn't you? Hey, I've been busy lately. You've been busy? So what? So have I. I've been stretched to my limits with work this entire time from the beginning. What are you so busy with? All you've been doing is screwing around. Tell me. What's been keeping you so busy? Wait, what about your parents? Do they know? Have you told them about this? I've already let them know that the wedding ceremony is not happening. So you're saying that I'm the only one who didn't know about all of this? Apparently so. I guess you haven't talked to your own parents then. Well, you left all the invitations and contacting people entirely to me. So this is what happens when you refuse to be involved in the planning. But honestly, you're not noticing any of this until the day of the party is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? That's because I believed in you and left all that stuff up to you. You didn't leave all that stuff to me. You forced all that stuff on me. It's a difference, you know? The invitations haven't even been sent either. So nobody even knows that today was supposed to be the day of the ceremony. Did you not even mention this wedding to any of your friends? Wow, you really don't care about any of this at all, do you? My plan was to invite mostly friends from my hometown, so I did tell them I was getting married. But we don't talk much, let alone meet, so... Do you really not have any newer friends that you've made here who you're going to invite? Of course I do. I'm just saying that the closest friends I have are my childhood ones. Didn't you think it was odd that I haven't brought up the subject of the wedding at all lately? I mean, sure, we haven't been talking much lately, but still, you didn't even notice. Hey, I thought you were just busy with work. You get quiet when you're stressed out like that, so I thought that was the reason. Yeah, right. It's more like you just don't care about anything. Certainly not about the wedding ceremony, and not about me. I mean, it's not unusual to hear nothing at all from you for days and days. You just have no interest in me at all, do you? Honestly, I should have never even considered marrying you. Well, this whole thing is a big pain in the neck anyway. Canceling the ceremony is no big deal, right? Let's just call the wedding off. Like I just said, I don't, I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. But you know, it was pretty lousy of you not to say anything about canceling it until now. After all, I am your boyfriend. Don't I deserve to know? Yeah, you're not my boyfriend. Not in any way, shape, or form. What? Of course I am. No, I don't consider you my significant other in any way. All you are to me is troublesome baggage. What are you talking about? We're obviously a couple. Oh, we're a couple? Then let's put an end to this relationship properly. For me, this was over a long time ago. Don't be silly. Why are you suddenly talking like this? What? Now you're saying you don't want to break up with me? You just said that you don't want to marry me, didn't you? All I said, that the wedding ceremony is a hassle and I don't want to deal with it. I didn't say that I want to quit dating you, just that I don't want to get married anymore. What? Wow, you really are in your own little world. If things were reversed and the wedding were suddenly cancelled by you today, I would have dumped you without thinking twice. No question. To me, that would have been absolutely unforgivable. But the end result here is that it's cancelled anyway, right? And you're the one who ended up cancelling it, so it seems like we're both thinking the same thing. The truth is, is that you didn't want to have the wedding either. Admit it. No, I didn't cancel the wedding ceremony for you, Jaden. However, at any rate, my intention is to definitely break up with you. 
So, goodbye. Have a nice life. Wait, you can't just decide something like this by yourself. I don't want to break up with you. Yes, of course you don't. And the reason you don't want to break up with me is because you can't make ends meet without my income. Isn't it? Read this carefully. I am not your ATM. Is there anything good about you besides your money? I sure don't see anything. You should be on your knees for thanking me for even dating you. There are dozens of other women I could have if I want to. I have no use for irresponsible, conceited men like you, Jaden. You are truly useless. If there are actually some other women out there who want you, I will gladly give you to them. And if there really are many of them, by all means, please go out and get them. Be my guest. Now you're just being hard-headed and argumentative. And another thing, for the record, I decided against us getting married even earlier than you did. And yet you were running around having a great time telling everyone that we were getting married, weren't you? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you look doing that? So, it looks like you never wanted to do it at all, and I was the only one intended to get married. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, actually. You were all for doing the wedding until just recently, all the while not knowing that I had already canceled the chapel reservations. Stop it. I look such like a fool, like it was only me who was in love with you and it wasn't mutual. Yes, absolutely. You do look absolutely foolish, haha. <laughs> You better not talk to me like that to others. If you do, I'll show no mercy, you disgusting skank. Really? Who are you calling disgusting? You're the disgusting one, Jaden. Your personality is ugly beyond words. And on top of that, you're good for nothing and totally irresponsible. That's it. I've had enough. Fine, have it your way. We're through. Just for the record, you didn't dump me, I dumped you. Oh, give me a break. You must be trying to salvage some of your wounded pride. That's even more pathetic. But if you need to think about it that way, be my guest and do what you like. I can't say how everyone else will see it through. Afterward, it seemed that Jaden kept denying the fact that I broke up with him constantly insisting that he was the one who ended things. However, this desperation and obsession with it only resulted in the opposite of what he intended. People started ridiculing him for getting so worked up and denying the reality of the situation. As expected, he couldn't really cope without me and my financial support. He was broke and things got so bad that even the city shut off his water supply. He relied on borrowing money from friends, which further damaged his reputation. As for me, I realized I needed a fresh start, so I decided to move to a completely new place. Along with that, I landed a new job, which was perfect timing since I had been contemplating a career advancement. Now, I'm working at a large and well-known foreign company. Being associated with such a reputable organization has boosted my own reputation. Not surprisingly, many have told me that Jaden was never good enough. They believed that the whole idea was solely his misguided notion. Everyone now views him as a total loser, which aligns with my own conclusion. Well, he truly is a loser, so that's not far from the truth. All I want now is to put this messy situation behind me and meet someone new. Someone who genuinely cares about me and whom I can reciprocate those feelings for. That's all I'm seeking at this point.